So state your names. Oh shit. Prince Elwood Strickland III. Positively um, enthusiastic about doing this video, and, and like when I heard the song, I absolutely positively insisted I do it because I, 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 I've been, I've been chasing to do this video. I love the song. I love all the songs on the record. We're inside. The operation has commenced. Parlance of our time. Uh, the title came from. The, it was inspired from the movie The Big Lebowski, uh, which we watched religiously while we were making the record. And uh, the more we heard it, the more it just sort of rang. And, and Brian, we were, we were searching out, we were searching a title. And um, Brian said it to me. He was just like, dude, it should just be the parlance of our time. Sundown is a deep song, a deep song. It's not a fluffy pop song, pop song. My old friend Chris Blackwell called me up and said, Steve, I've got this great project for you, and uh, I'd love you to get involved. We had to pay him a lot of money. He sent me over the tape, and I thought, why the hell would I want to work with this sort of music? And we had to um, basically blackmail him. But I listened to it, and I thought it was good. Well, $8.95, but it's a... It's a did I say that it's, a, it's an installment plan? Elwood is an engineer, and he's a great... Uh, he yes he knows his feel and he and uh, he's very instinctive in his in his way of working good man friends i was the assistant engineer on the tibetan freedom concert with yao and that was that was really a, a highlight because i was always into the beastie boys I know this girl named Michelle who lives down in Delco. Let me be the first to tell you she's got the mad pull. The one that dips her hips and side to side, she moves like flipper. Smile so captivating, that makes me want to lick her. By golly, she's a great ball of fire. Too small a package with too much desire. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Looking for the men with the glaze across their faces. Well, the concept was really big, you know. We went, we went in, we sat at the meeting, and... Uh, you know, we were just, I was like, well, what do you want? And uh, I guess Prince was like, I want a 77 Pinto, you know? So I was like, all right, that's easy. Oh, it's time, it's just beginning. I want to kiss you on the beach with a pretty peach, walking hand in hand, seeing land where the feet meet. I got time, spend time thinking about nothing. Rich with a thought about the happiness is all you see. It took years for me to see. I got fears of being me, walking around lost at the cost of build development. Sometimes I sit up in my lounge chair, I'm watching the elephants. I love it when he just comes around my way. Sometimes I don't have that much to say. The record's computer-based and sounds like an accumulation of music from the past 40 years. I guess if the vibe of the record is happy, it wasn't premeditated, like we don't really plan anything. I think the very nature of the way that we work around here, Brian and myself and Howard or Danny or whoever is working on a particular song with me, it's kind of spur of the moment. It's like whatever's lying around. There's like when we did the Gordon Lightfoot song, I grabbed the 12 string and played that and it just you know sounded amazing so you know it's whatever's around and the vibe you know if the horn guys happen to be hanging out you know we'll be like go throw a horn line on it or you know i have this idea da, 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 you know and we'll get them to lay it down and 
and they'll do their magic. And I think it's, um, I guess the spirit, if, if you think it's happy, then it probably comes from the whole package. You know, Brian, myself, Howard, the influence, um, lyrically, you know, because we're pretty optimistic and a pessimistic sort of way. If I find you've been creeping round 